Alright, so I'll give him a few seconds. And then I'll hit you with an image. I'm adding quite a few um, new characters, didn't I? Yeah, we might even piss off all of them. Yeah, okay, so you get there and ignore the guys he's fighting. What? Here's this hokey. What? 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 Why am I even. What is this? What is this? Oh, you legendary motherfucker, Gray. It's about to be. What is this? That is glorious, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> that is the only. That is all I can say about this lightsaber Don't chucks. Don't give me any ideas. Oh, oh my! I, oh my god! And I wrote a clip of this. Oh my god! Oh I my want god. those. <laughs> I so. I'd like to point out he's wearing extremely thick gloves. He's not stupid. <laughs> yeah. He's, however, he's not wearing green. arm protection. <laughs> yeah. The gloves are sensible. The completely naked rest of his upper body. Oh, yeah, Master Brooklyn. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh God! When you go searching for Jedi on the internet, you get you take the good with the bad. <laughs> Some images oh, cannot not be used. That's true. I'll give you that one. Oh my God! <laughs> oh, this is fantastic. <laughs> Better. So it's it's no Darth Fro, but it's up there. Yep. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. This one, fortunately, did not reduce us to nothing but giggles for four minutes. Zeb's not here, so that's why. Yeah. Zeb is a Google machine. All right. So I take it he's training up Padawans. Yeah. Well, if you say that, he's also taking out a, a lot of combat it, droids apart. It's a, tra it's a training at Padawans, or in other words, making them look really bad. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's just kind of, you, you just have to do this. <laughs> I expect you all lightsaber nunchucks by the end of the day. Yeah. See, if, you cannot, if you cannot create your own mo training montage at will, then you failed me. So I assume at this point we're waiting and waiting on the side, respectfully, yeah. respectfully waiting for him to finish cutting up combat droids. Yep, yeah, he will. He will finish after a little while. Do a little bit of damage, and then kind of walk over to you, taking the gloves off. Yeah, that's basically him. Um, he's got kind of a weird belt attachment he kind of hooks the um, lightsabers on so he can grab them from either side <laughs> so he's got regular lightsaber clips except they go across his waist oh dear. yeah basically yeah. the chain goes across his the chain around. kind of goes across his waist and clips on so <laughs> it looks like he's wearing a really hardcore belt but at the same time is probably one of the dorkiest things ever. This man could take you apart in seconds. Please do not mock him. Uh, I that wasn't mock mockery. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Ma imagine Bruce Lee with force powers. That's not something you want to contemplate. <laughs> imagine Bruce Lee with force powers. Now imagine him angry at you. <laughs> Huh. Guys, I think we finally found the guy who might even... Uh, give me a minute, I think I need to change my pants now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He kind of looks at you. So, you're He's the people who sent to it now? Information on some new um, Xeno Jedi? Xeno. Xeno! I was just gonna, was just gonna like, toss him a holocron, or a holocube. Holocron. <laughs> With Ken's interrogation on it. <laughs> he kind of like settles down to wash it, watch it. Well, you know, his Padawan oils him up. <laughs> 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 
gotta keep it. Because it wouldn't be Bruce Lee without it. Yeah, that no, is true. <laughs> yeah. It's just not the sort of thing you expect to witness on a daily basis. No. Uh, yeah. No, I'll go not mind me. I have to get oiled up while I'm listening to this interrogation. Yeah. It's not in any way sensual way. Happens. It's literally, you know, yeah. Get, realize, like, get this up as quickly as possible. Hmm. Of course, I've also just realised this entire oiling up conversation is now on YouTube, so if any of us ever piss somebody off, it's going to be snipped up and taken out of context. So sorry about that, folks. <laughs> yeah, there, there is no way of avoiding that. It's fine. You can, you can take anything out of context. Yes. Anyway, he, he'll watch it. He's going, hmm. This is worrying. That is a, a lot of power to be in the hands of one enemy. And the others you've shown there are not friends of the Republic. Hmm. Especially since we can't show them the error of their ways, it sounds like it. It sounds like they've been completely mind wiped. That is the most worrying thing. Uh, it gives the spectre of sleeper agents. Sleeper? Yeah. Sleeper. Sleeper. It's called sleep. S L I. Yeah. Yeah. Words. Words. I can't say. Essentially, that they cannot be changed. They cannot be like they are so totally dedicated to the cause that nothing will change their mind because their minds have kind of literally been. I think what he's more getting at is they can implant this and activate it later. Yeah. 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 Venturian so, agent style. It is not something that m us mundane folk can handle or detect. I think that you Jedi have better methods of detecting hmm. this kind of alteration. Yes. I, I know Master Ven. Um, forgotten the name already. Master Ven is already working on the, the the archives. I shall use some of my own contacts. They might know more. It should go without saying we're still conducting our own investigation, so you'll hear if we discover anything. But we appreciate of course, of the course. information you could observe. Yes. Yes. And. Here he chucks you kind of a, a small like, um, like chip. These are some hmm. um, kind of uh, kind of contact details. If you are in need of support, if you track this thing down, call me. I shall get do my best to be there in time for the battle. Contact. We will. Yeah. Thank you. It's quite an active. Um, like, kind of guy, yeah, he wants to be there. It's like, hey, threat, let's go build a threat. Well, yeah, we want a bloody Is it contact yeah. shit? Contacts Master, is he? Master Brew, please. <laughs> uh, God damn it. It's Thank Star Wars you. enough. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> We're going to break up every single fucking time we read that, aren't we? Yep. Oh, damn. Uh, Zeb's going to have a good. Uh, Anyway, we had to make sure that the uh, audio was recorded before we got to that point. <laughs> but yeah, so we've given Mr. Ru Kui whatever all the all the help he needs. So I think. <laughs> so at this point, you will turn around and notice a couple of. Uh, Jedi Knights walking to you with their lightsabers drawn. Oh yeah, that. Oh yeah, that. The despair. Yes, they're not actually on, but they're out. <laughs> <laughs> and Spence is running away. It's <laughs> <laughs> an opportunity to. Um, yeah. The kind of stuff, it's like, uh, Master Veen would like to speak with you. And the the tone pretty much leaves it, you know, clear that this is not a would like. To, would you please find time in your schedule that is now? It is. You will speak. Yeah. <laughs> this is a, at this point we meekly follow. We meekly, I'd say, follow them, but probably more hemmed in by them as we get a frog march. Yep. Up, 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 up the stairs. Yeah, he came down in the server list. They're marching you up the stairs. Do -do -do. 
And she's how she's, high up is this relative to the training grounds? A little way. You're gonna be out of breath by the time you get there. Oh, the Jedi Temple doesn't believe in lifts, I see. No, they do. They're just not taking us via the lift. Yeah. And they're doing that very deliberately. Yeah. All right, let's work on our story. Well, brain. you don't you don't have much chance to work on your story because there's a couple of guys standing right next to you. Fair enough. Right, you're marched into the room. It's time to and it's pretty much so Republic intelligence, are we? Yes. That's Republic interesting. Intelligence. My contacts have never heard of you. Yes, Republic intelligence. That's off the grid, secret because it needs to be hidden from the huts. Well, that's right. quite. <laughs> hmm. That's 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 quite open. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yes. Sure. It's together. Lying yeah. to them is not going to. Yeah, I see, that is true. Lying to the Jedi is probably going to be j worse than trying to finagle, trying to. Yeah. I think. Like, I think what we can do is give him, like, the contact details for both your hands on it and just say, you can call him. He's going to disavow us. I was about to say, can we do that? Or can he just say, there's nothing. This is something I don't know about. Literally Officially, a we do not exist as entities within Republic Intelligence. Okay. So, I assume this is the point where you guys go into the full story, how you're just actually a bunch of survivors from the, from the attack, and you're pressed into service as intelligence, but not officially members of them. Because that's the best story I can think of in this <coughs> Why are you not Um, I mean, there's always flat out honesty and just sort of. Yeah, no, that's what he's saying. Just be honest about it. Yeah. I mean, there's also a way of verifying that even further, which is to get. Oh, frick, I've forgotten the Bothan's name, but get him on the line. Except he will disavow us. Oh, fuck, he would, wouldn't he, little bastard? He told us several times that he would disavow us. Apparently, you sort of try and draw. Apparently not even the Jedi are safe to tell that, hey, we exist. Then again, they are Jedi, we could just have one of us, one of them scan us. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they can... Work. Yeah, I mean, do it to us. Just be honest and let them do it, and they'll turn, they'll tell the truth. Well, they're probably going to do it whether we're honest or not, so... Well, okay, yeah, true, true, true. But... You know... Let's just be honest, chaps. Alright, who's good at talking? Well, me, when I'm not rolling despairs every five solving seconds. Yeah. You've rolled your one for this session, you'll be fine. Don't say that. Why would you say that? I'm going to smack you. Because if I say it enough, it might turn out to be true. Yeah, I'm really good at lying to people, so this is not the time. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I'm assuming this is a charm check, Gray, given that we're telling the truth there. Oh, yes. You're charming. Okay. So, blue for. I'm trying to support for everybody. Difficulty? I'm just checking. Because I forget what the so, charm check goes against. Charm is willpower, I believe? Or is it coercion? No. Willpower is. You know, it's willpower for coercion and discipline for deception. Cool. Oh. So, free red die. Oh, right. Of course. Yep. I hope you didn't want any night side tokens, folks, because we're not going to fucking have any. We've only rolled about four times this session, so. I'm giving you a Oh, and grey counter. Oh, you saw. Well, right, so that's three reds and one purple, is it? Yes. Fuck. You are a failure. Come on. Give me, give me an opportunity to have you right. locked up. Oh yeah. This has been a good campaign. I hope you guys have fun in all the Jedi in the Jedi holding cells. 
I mean, I suppose I can at least be vindicated by the fact that when a Jedi inevitably get killed by Xeno Sith, we can turn around and say, we fucking told you so from the prison cell, but oh well. Hold on, we're still investigating her. We... Ah. Hey, no fucking despair. That is the best thing about this. When no despairs is the best thing you can say. Welcome to my dice rolling life. I put in the chat box earlier, I rolled a despair every single session bar the first one. That was because you only rolled like twice that session and I don't think you had any reds. Pretty much, pretty much. So, she's not it's buying it. I can't. No, she's not buying it. Which sucks because we're not lying. I was going to say, surely even the Jedi mind scanning us would give us some kind of advantage because they can read our minds and see that we're telling the truth. But never mind. Oh, okay, have um, three beast dice for that. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I need two successes to counteract this. Yeah. <laughs> hey. You talked away into a complete success. <laughs> That's even two advantages as well. Yeah. It means you don't have to tell her absolutely everything about what your operation is. Yeah, we don't have to tell her about the fact that we're actually secretly working for a pro republic. Yep, she'll just yeah. buy that you're a top secret branch of the Republic. And oh, she can sense that you're not Yeah, not evil. And, yeah, not working for the huts. Those dastardly huts. And also that we're not actually lying when we say we came from Republic Intelligence. Yeah. Well, because we're not lying. <laughs> Get a lot of gray hairs before you free. Anyway. Yeah, ever try being interrogated by a Jedi? It's not fun. Yes. First you get the lightsabers out, then they get the what I did on my holidays. I'm pretty sure we could all come out of that room with quite a stinging headache. Yeah. They probably weren't too gentle. No. With the whole mind probe. Not unreasonably, but... Okay, so basically we get away with it. Just yeah. She's going to believe um, that you know this is something that being kept secret. Um, she'll say, you know, the understanding, the... Um, the factions are in the Jedi Order. I mean that even they can't openly talk about everything. Um, yeah. End of the day, they got to worry about the huts. True. Well, you know, if nothing's changed, we'll be on our way. Yeah, yeah. So you'll just be watching you a bit more. Well, doing, yeah, that's reasonable. Doing a bit more digging. That's reasonable enough. So, yes, you have informed the Jedi. Yeah, so we really have somebody. We have somebody to hunt. <laughs> um, you'll also get a bit more information from um, Grog. Uh, they kind of like they continue to interrogate Kem and got a bit more kind of not information but they've, they've kind of sorted out his rambling is a bit more and as well as his work on Mount Dark apparently a um, Gamerian called Pugrag is um, working on um, a Roni for some reason been sent there by Xenos Oh. oh joy, we're chasing a Gamorrean now. What was that planet? Uh, Aroni. Uh, we also can't forget the phase 24 or yeah, whatever. Yeah, phase 24. Or, doesn't know what she, what, stuff from the huts. Yeah, because the that, huts. Was actually, that was actually on that planet that Grey was expecting us to interrogate this guy on. Yeah, but Maldark. We didn't. Oh, Maldark. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this is the question. Do we want to go back to Maldark and resolve the Plan 24 thing? Place 24, sorry. Or do we want to chase after this Gamma Because mm -hmm. I... That was the one now. The Gamma is probably more time sensitive. 
Not to mention more, you know, getting the Sith out of the way. Yeah, there's probably so many pieces rolling at the same time. I'm not sure how much time we have on the, that plan either before it's enacted. Right. The thing is, we're not the only ones working on Phase 24. That's true. It's been a known factor with Imperial Intelligence for a while. They just got no idea what it is. <laughs> yeah, no, it but bit. they now know where to start looking. True. So, a decision for you. Okay. I would argue that given some of the slightly interesting decisions we made back on Maldark, we probably ought not to go back there for a little while, because in fact we're a bit of a hot ticket after... Yeah, how yeah that is true. ...and I mean, after how things went down with the rest no, of us. without... Not so without I would either vote a new for ship or new transponders at the very least. Yeah, so I would vote we go for the Gamma Go for the Gamma Rean, definitely. What is the yep. planet the Gamma Rean on Pops space or uh, it's uh, out of Rim World. <laughs> nope. it's a nice flag, okay. Yeah, it's pretty much a nobody world. No one I'll take that over a hut world at this point. Uh, it might be a little cold. Oh, so half. Basically half world, yeah. Bit more of a kind of like um, permanent stove storms as opposed to a complete ice. That's what warm coats uh, are so for. It's more like Elam than anything else. Or, you know, oh shit. Oh, this is going to be Star Killer, isn't it? <laughs> We are supposedly doing episode 7, whatever that means after how long you've been diverting the timelines for. 30 years, episode seven is pretty much not happening. <laughs> yeah. Certainly not as it happened. I was about to say. There's a very good chance that Ray was never born. But I bet you the crystals that are behind the Xenos fourth power. So all Kyber crystals. Yeah. So, you want to well, go somewhere? Well, we can get Shank Jetta. Before that, shopping? Shopping? Actually, I think we've earned a small shopping break as well, to be honest. Yeah, shopping. Shopping! <laughs> For those of you who don't care about shopping, skip ahead to the next video, or possibly <laughs> the one after that. <laughs> possibly the next episode. Uh, I already We're actually made a list of... I made a list of everything I want, so actually I'm not... It shouldn't be that long for me. Well, for you. Right, I'm, so I'm going to go have a nap for five minutes. Can everyone just wake me when you're done? Oh, <laughs> come on, we're not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Alright, um... Well, I want custom grips for my pistols. And unfortunately, everything's expensive for me because I have to buy them in pairs. Oh, so yes, yeah, so you actually have to buy them. Well, technically, yeah, I don't have, I think... technically, it only matters for the very first one I fire, except for all the damage it goes on the second, except for all the damage on the second one, but I'm not going to cheese it. I want them both to be the same. <laughs> right, okay. No. Can we get a discount if I install everything? Getting a rocket launcher on my blaster rifle. Did not hear that, sorry. Yes, if we get a discount if he installs everything. Yeah, possibly. Depends. Depends what it is. Yeah, how much would it cost to find a mechanic to do modifications? I think is a relevant question. Ooh, ooh, me, me. <laughs> yeah, do I am God, all the good armor is ridiculously expensive or restricted, isn't it? Oh yeah, no, yep. all the extremely good armor is just, yeah. Bare minimum of 6k, or at the very least a restricted rating. Jesus Christ. Well, I guess I'm sticking with my hardened clothing, then. Hardened oh, clothing? Hard clothing, bloody... No, sorry, padded armor. My defense, hard clothing and padded armor are pretty much similar to what they do. Mm-hmm. 
One of you mean them's... heavy clothing? Yes. Okay, that's what was confusing me. So yeah, I'm gonna pick up some iron grenades, frag grenades. Monofilament edge. <laughs> that would be an stu really stupid thing to purchase, but I sort of want to give it a go anyway. What, in, what is? 